Now during a round of golf you'll hit more shots with this club than you will any other in your bag and if your scores aren't improving the chances are it's the putter that's to blame and that's where this video is going to come in and hopefully help you out if you're due an upgrade I'm going to test over 25 of the latest and greatest putter models here at the beautiful Woburn Golf Club, the Tavistock short game area to really put them through their paces, help you understand the differences in the looks, the feel and the performance that you can expect from all the latest putters on the market to help you pick the right one for you. Okay, so starting with the looks of these 2023 putters, and I think this is arguably the most important category to get right. I think you need to feel comfortable with what you're looking down on when it comes to your putter. And as you can see from all the models here in front of me, there's a whole host of different colors, shapes, sizes, visual cues, alignment aids, all that sort of thing. And as a result, I would encourage you to try as many different putters as you can on the practice putting green before you make a purchase to, so you can find one that really suits your eye and helps you hold a lot of putts and, and start the ball online. And there's a few standout models in terms of what they're offering visually. I think one of the main ones is the Odyssey Versa, this white hot Versa new for 2023. That, that kind of high contrast block color system I think is really effective at highlighting where the face is pointing. And I think the sight line on the front does also assist with that and enhance that so i think that's a really good option if you're struggling to start your balls online this is going to give you a really good visual aid another one i really like is the ping options in the 2023 range because you get a couple you know there's a whole host of different shapes and you get a couple of different alignment options so this is the monday here in my left hand this has got some white sight lines that stand out against the black flange and then you've got the answer which is using more a block color system as well as a sight line so there's some different options with that range to hopefully suit to find the visual cues that work for you worth touching on the tailor-made spider gtx you can see here this has got the the red chassis actually comes in six different color options so you can really personalize your putter maybe on your team allegiance or however you want to do it and that true path alignment system is really effective really high contrast definitely highlights where the face is pointing really well the other one to talk about is the ev5 from even roll what i like about this is you get three different kind of chassis options depending on your visual preference. So you've got the all black here, you've got an all silver, or you've got a duo option which combines both of them. So, and they have kind of different sight line options, combinations as well. So you can really tailor the design of this putter to suit your visual preferences. So a lot of options within that even roll design as well as six different hosel options as well. Mizuno OMOI putters, worth touching on these because they come in three different finishes. You've got the blue, the satin and the black. I think they all look really, really premium. Um, also worth mentioning the caramel copper PVD finish on the Betanardi Queen Bee. I think this looks super, super premium. And it's just a point of difference with a lot of putters on the market these days and just stands out really well against the grass. I think it, it makes you see the where the face is pointing and the head shape a little bit better. And just finally, got to, got to mention the Zebra AIT1. This is kind of a, a reinvention of a classic looking putter. And I think that stripe system is something definitely visually it's very different and also very effective at seeing where the face is aiming. So uh, definitely one to try if, uh, as I said, if you're struggling with an alignment, you're getting a lot of assistance there. Obviously you will get more assistance in terms of alignment with the mallet shaped putters versus the blades. If I had to pick my favorite for looks, I think it would be the Ping 2023 range. And in particular, this Monday option, I think this is the most effective putter. I, from all my testing I've done, this was the one I felt most confident in, in knowing exactly where it was aiming and then able to return the putter to square. Because of that, I felt the most, I got the most confidence out of this Ping Monday 2223 putter. So this is my standout putter for looks in 2023. Okay, so now we move on to the feel and sound of these putters. And it's worth just mentioning, you need to consider things like what type of golf ball you play when it comes to the kind of acoustics of a putter and the impact experience they're offering. It does have an impact on that. As I said, I would encourage you to try them out and see which one feels best for you. Obviously there's a different range of constructions here. You've got grooves, you've got inserts, you've got milled faces, you've got solid faces. So they will have a, a, an impact on the, the feel that you experience. Uh, in fact, if you like a firmer feel, there are some models that really stand out. The Mizuno OMOI is a classic example of that. It's quite a firm feel because of the shallow milling on the face, and it's also quite a heavy feel. Um, Mizuno feel like that was 
going to give golfers the best performance. It's certainly something I noticed it feels quite head heavy, it feels quite stable as a result as well. And you do have an adjustable weight kit with the Mizuno M-Craft OMI putters to adjust the weight if you want to, you can go up or down. Um, but as standard, it comes quite heavy and I think that will suit golfers with quite slow rhythmic tempos. And I certainly um, enjoyed the feel of that Mizuno OMI putter. The TaylorMade uh, Spider GTX and the GT Max have quite a loud, almost like a clicky sound to them. And then if you want something a little bit softer, you've got the Odyssey options, both the, the Tri-Hot 5K and the Versa putters with that white hot insert have quite a nice, soft, gentle, subtle feel to them. And I also like the feel of the, the PXG uh, Battle Ready Closer and the Cleveland HB Soft Milled. I think that was um, surprisingly soft yet solid sensation from those both those putters. I certainly lean towards uh, more of a, a gentle, softer feeling putter. And there were kind of three that really stood out for me. The Even Roll V Series I thought felt excellent. The Scotty Cameron, as you'd expect, definitely feels really nice. They've done a really good job of milling. There's kind of a new mill pattern there, it just kind of takes away some of the acoustics. Felt softer than the special select that we saw previously. But actually my standout for feel might surprise you. It's the Wilson staff model putters. Um, these feel absolutely fantastic. Soft, really solid. You've got a very subtle but intricate milling pattern on the face. Does a really good job of dispersing the sound at impact. Um, but not overdoing it. You do get enough kind of response and feedback from the face to help you understand how you struck the ball. Um, but I think in terms of an impact experience, the Wilson staff model putters really stood out the most for me. All right, so now we're moving on to the forgiveness and stability of these putters. I think it's an underrated attribute, you know, when you're putting, especially from long range, you want a putter that's gonna deliver uniform consistent performance when that strike pattern tends to deviate more away from the sweet spot into the heel and toe. And obviously the mallet putters that I've got here will provide more forgiveness than the blade putters. But that said, there were some surprise packages within some of the smaller shapes that we'll come on to in this section. So I think I'll start with the, the Scotty Cameron. So I've got the, the Super Select Newport 2.5 Plus. And so this plus concept is, is a new thing for Scotty Cameron this year three different shapes that are slightly larger than their kind of namesake counterparts. So this is the 2.5 plus. So it's a slightly bulkier blade design. I wouldn't call it a wide blade. It's just slightly larger than the 2.5, the standard model. So it's a little bit longer from heel to toe, definitely has a little bit of a wider flange. And as a result, I found it to be really forgiving for what is essentially a blade putter. I was really impressed with the TaylorMade Spider GTX. This is a relatively compact mallet, but you can see with this, I think it's 120 gram, tungsten back piece it's a really stable putter off center i felt like it really didn't want to twist that much when i was hitting it off center it was a very um very consistent user-friendly option um, so i really enjoyed that one i do think the even roll face technology is very effective at well they say kind of gearing off center putts back to straight uh, i wouldn't probably go that far but it definitely delivers consistent speeds from long and mid range. It's something I've noticed testing these putters long term is that yes, it doesn't give you the most amount of speed because of the grooves on the face, but that speed is consistent. And therefore you, that feedback loop you get when you're using it, kind of you can calibrate your brain to um, put the right amount of stroke length on it. And therefore I've become really effective putter with my even rough putter from long range and these putters in particular this ev5 you know with that kind of mid mallet shape i think has been really really user friendly for me before i pick my winner i'm just going to highlight the the cleveland um frontline elite putter now this is a very common shape we see a lot of brands using the kind of that original spider shape design um, but i noticed this to be very solid off center. It's got a very incredibly loud sound to it and a hard feel. It's not gonna suit everyone, but if you're looking for stability and forgiveness in a putter that's not gonna cost the earth, I enjoyed what this Cleveland Frontline had to offer. And I think it's got an excellent stock grip, probably one of the best stock grips out of all these putters on test. So yeah, Cleveland Frontline Elite, really impressed with that in terms of forgiveness. But there was one standout model. If you're looking for maximum help on your putts, the, the Odyssey Tri-Hot 5K is a standout range. You've got two tungsten weights here in the front, just really gives you a solid feel at impact. And if you do make a bad stroke, you get away with it a little bit more with this putter than you do 
pretty much any of the other putters here on this test. And with that white hot insert, it feels stable without feeling hard or firm or harsh or clicky. You get some really nice acoustics, a really nice impact experience with this putter. And it was just really consistent. So in terms of, if you're looking for maximum help, I do think the Odyssey Tri-Hot 5K range is really gonna help you out. And in particular, this seven shape. Right, now we're moving on to the all important performance. Ultimately, a putter needs to get the ball in the hole as often as possible. And there were three that really stood out. The first was this PXG. This is the bat already closer. I'm definitely gravitating towards wide blade shapes at the moment for some reason. Um, I do think that white sight line is quite thick and it stands out well against that black flange. As a result, I found it very easy to aim. And I do think the feel and stability of this putter is kind of up there, if not as a level with everyone else or slightly better. It's got these really heavy tungsten weights in the heel and toe. As a result, it felt really solid. And I was especially prolific kind of inside eight feet with this. I felt really confident that I was able to return the putter to square. Um, and I like the, the, obviously it's got this multi-material shaft. This is a, a concept we're seeing, as you can see, quite a few different brands are offering this kind of multi-material shaft design. It definitely seemed to offer me a slightly more head heavy feel, which I like. It certainly matched up with my tempo that I tend to adopt a little bit better and just offered me a bit more stability as well, especially on those long range putts. I felt like I was scaring the hole a little bit more um, with this shaft. I thought the, the stock grip was really tacky as well. As a result, this was one of the putters that I hold more than my fair share of putts with. The other one to talk about in terms of performance and how I was able to adjust the putter to suit my performance with this tailor-made Spider GT Max. So this is um, a unique concept. It has two movable 40 gram weights that you can slide up and down the chassis in there's three different kind of noted positions, but you could actually have the weights in between those if you want to. And what I was able to do with this putter, I've got them in setting three at the moment, and these weights actually move back and forwards. And actually by having them in the one position, just tend to, to slow the rotation of the club face down a little bit. It's something I did actually notice as someone who tends to miss left um, on putts kind of from inside 10 feet. Doing that did seem to subtly help keep the face open a little bit more. And I definitely noticed I wasn't missing left as much um, with that weight option with the weight position as I was beforehand. So it's an interesting concept from Taylor Made. I do think the effect is relatively subtle. It's in terms of holding the most amount of putts, those are the ones that, that did it for me. Now I'm of the opinion that you don't need to spend loads of money on a putter to get half decent performance out of it. And as a result, I think golfers will be looking to save a bit of money when it comes to buying a new putter. And there are three models that really stood out in terms of offering the best value for money. The cheapest putter in this test is the McGregor um, V-Foil. There's a few different shapes in the range. I think there's four different ones. This is the 004. So this is the mallet option. I think this is a very familiar shape. Offers really good stability for what is a putter that costs less than hundred pounds. Obviously white sight line, black chassis, really easy to align. Feels quite firm. I don't think this um, insert or arc technology they've got in the face is doing a great deal. But if you play a soft golf ball, I think that will marry quite nice with the firm feel you get from this putter. And the stock grip is quite nice as well. It's quite tacky and a decent sh shape and size. Um, another putter that offers good value for money is the Anesis Higher Moai putter. Um, the reason I say it's got good value for money is because it's very stable off center. You can see this kind of perimeter weighting design here is gonna give you really good um, off center forgiveness. I do think it looks a bit too busy on top. I think there's probably too many alignment aids going on here, but it could be a bit distracting. Some people may like it, but I do like the grip. I think the stock grip is excellent. But the standout model for me in terms of value for money was undoubtedly the Cleveland HB Soft Milled. So um, this comes in at 200 pounds, but I think this is probably one of the better feeling putters on test. Felt really solid, quite soft. You've got progressive milling here that on the face in terms of um, it becomes a bit tighter towards the middle and wider towards the edge, essentially controlling the amount of metal that comes into contact with the ball. And I found that to be quite effective actually. Off center, felt like I was getting a uniform rollout from long range and a really kind of consistent feel from this um, progressive milling. So a really effective tool. And obviously it comes with the multi-material shaft as well. It does give it a lighter feel overall. Some people might like that. So for value for money, it's the Cleveland HB Soft Milled in particular, this number four shape. 
Okay, so now it's time for me to get off the fence and pick my favorite putter of 2023. Worth pointing out, this is only a very small cross section of what's available on the market. A lot of these ranges come in a whole host of different shapes and sizes and models to, to suit different preferences. So, you know, worth taking it with a relative pinch of salt. There are plenty of other, other options out there, but um, there were some honorable mentions. I just want to just say before we pick my overall winner, I think the two honorable mentions really need to go to the even roll EV5 putter with that interchangeable chassis system and the hosel options and all that other thing and the sweet face technology combines to produce a really comprehensive putter. Um, also, I think the PXG Battle Ready is a sneakily underrated putter range. I think it's probably one of their strongest categories in terms of hardware. I really enjoyed putting with that particular model. But my overall winner for best putter of 2023, if money was no object, the one that ticks the most boxes for looks, feel, forgiveness, all that sort of thing, was the Odyssey Trihot 5K. I probably wouldn't pick this particular shape. There are a few, uh, some smaller shapes that I think I'd probably gravitate towards a bit more. But in terms of offering that combination of stability off center with those tungsten weights, which are adjustable, you can have different weights in there if you want to, without having a hard or harsh feel. It's got a really nice, soft, gentle feel from the white hot insert, but it still provides good speed. So it hasn't got a soft feel, but then you feel like you've got to hit the putts too hard to get them there. It's also got obviously the multi-material shaft, which I think does have some effect if, if very small versus a traditional steel shaft. It did deliver a marginal improvement. So all in all, um, the Odyssey Trihot 5K range is my favourite for 2023. So from the beautiful Tavistock short game area here at Woburn Golf Club, it's goodbye from me. I'll see you next time.